Greetings everyone wherever you are watching from. This miracle happened in Israel. A man of fractured leg from gunshot heard that Evangelist Ebukobi is hosting a program in Israel. Lucky enough for him, due to easy means, he was able to attend the program, which defied medical conclusion. Just watch it. Um, we On our own, we My name is Ikechuku Anude from Nsude, who the local government of Enugu State. I have come to testify the goodness of the Lord upon my life. For me to be alive today is by the miracle of the living God. My problem started in 2020. I started having problem in my business, in my marriage. I imported a car and give two cars and give somebody to sell. He sold it and hid the money. I sent a container to Nigeria. It was cleared from the wharf. The driver was taking it down to east and diverted the container and sold half of the container and took the container to the um, custom and later called and said that um, custom have seized it and um, off his phone up to today I haven't seen him. In October last year I called my elder sister which is here with me I told her that I'm going back to Nigeria. She said, okay. Immediately I arrived at Mother Mohammed Airport in the evening. He called me and said, IK, please, I have a very terrible dream. I don't want you to go anywhere. Go straight to Zion. Don't go anywhere. Don't go to the village. Go to straight to the Zion. Stay there until you see Brother Ebuka. I said, okay. What did you say? He said he saw he see one of my legs being paralyzed. I said, okay. I resisted, but on a second thought, I said within my mind, after all, I'm the one who introduced this woman to Ebuka, that now he eats all his food is Ebuka, all his drink is Ebuka. I was supposed to travel back on the 24th of uh, November. I went to... Um, Yapa police station to report the matter of the person I give the car to sold. So on my coming back, I boarded a car um, uh, Okada in uh, Yapa to bring him back to, down to Dile because there was too much uh, hold up. I couldn't go with my car. So immediately the uh, Okada and the Okada was been driving by uh, mobile police, but he's on Mufti. Immediately I came down from the Okada, about four policemen rushed me. People were like, what is happening? Everybody was running up and down. The next thing I saw was my leg. He smashed the gun boot on my leg, and I fell down. He hit it again, and was telling me to come up, come up. I couldn't stand. Now I realized that my leg has been scattered. So people are now rushed. What is happening? What is happening? Those policemen rush into their vehicle and drive out. So I couldn't move, I couldn't do anything. People now rush and gather me together. So and I, I, I told them my story, if they can help me get a, a transport, that I want to go to Seraphic Hospital. They said, okay. So they bring a, a cab for me. They, they managed to put me there. I came to Sarafik around 11 in the night because this thing happened around 8. The doctor rushed me down and look at my situation and said, no, the bone is captured. I should go to General Hospital. So I went to General Hospital at the solo. They couldn't do anything. That my bone is captured. It, the the X-ray showed that it's scattered, there is a lot of uh, pieces on it and uh, it break into three places. He now told me that he doesn't know how to gather the bone together. The only option is uh, like amputation. I said no. So I now told the doctor, please, can you be able to cast my, my leg with uh, POP? He said uh, he can try. I said I want to go back to UK, that's where I come from. 
So he said, okay, I'll see what I can do. They left me there. They are not doing anything for 14 days. I started crying. I said, God, is this how I'm going to die? God of Abraham, you remember that I was in your house before this thing happened. How can I come here with my leg and go back with one leg? So eventually, after 14 days, the man was able to come and cast my leg from my waist down to my leg. Because I cannot stand up, I cannot sit down, I can only lie down. So eventually, I just book a KLM. I didn't tell them what happened. So they took me to a bigger hospital, LGI. So the next day, the consultant come and look at the history and everything. And said they are cancelled your uh, surgery because they have a concern. One, one leg might be short. Two, it might lead to amputation. And three, because of the, uh, the, the, the extent of the time I have been with this thing, there might be infection. That they will call a specialist from, hospital, uh, from London the next day. So the next day they came, the man analyzed it. I said there is a chance. That they should bring me down to the theater. The daughter now told me that, congratulations. Everything went according to the plan, but this is the first stage. One of my cousin's sister, Sister Blessing, called me and said that he had that Brother Buka is doing a program in Israel. Eventually, the program started. I was calling on God of Ebukovka, the Lion of Zion, the Eliza of our time. Please. Look at me today. <laughs> Remember that Israel, I never wanted to do program there. 
that day, the Spirit of God was telling me to go and lay hand upon him. That if I didn't do that, they may still do the surgery and he will not still walk with his leg again. After this program, your miracle will attach people to Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. How happy are you now? I can't express it that my brother walk. I near, I nearly died when I got him in the telephone and said that they broke his leg. Thank God. God will not restore you. Marriage issue, children issue, every round you will be restored. Care for healing, cause of people to be weak. God bless you.